Hello everyone. You're welcome to Pioco Mathematics. Here we solve math problems into detail. And here this is what we have before us. x to the power of 3 plus x squared equals 36. Now we are going to provide three solutions to this problem. One is going to be real solution and the other ones not real. Okay, so the first step is bringing everything to the left. Okay, so the next step here is for me to break 36 down. Okay, I'm going to have x to the power 3 plus x to the power 2 minus 36 here will give us 27 minus 27 minus 9. That will give us 36, right? And now, why did I bring out minus 27? Because 27 can be written in the power of 3. And then 9 can be expressed as 3 squared, right? So we have square as well. So we're going to match what we have here now. So that we can have x to the power 3 minus 27. Then plus x squared minus 9 equals 0. Now we can see that they are matching, right? Now, 27 here, okay, x to the power 3 minus 27 is 3 to the power of 3 plus x squared minus 3 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. Okay, so what do I do? I'm going to deal with these two and then deal with these two separately. But then, for me to deal with this, there's a, um, a principle that I would like to bring up. If you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, now what do we do with this? This is the same thing as a minus b into bracket a squared plus ab plus b squared so i'm going to apply this principle and then when i get to this i will apply difference of two squares which is if you have a squared minus b squared this is the same thing as a plus b into a minus b so i'm going to apply these two principles to this problem now these two principles will be applicable here Okay, so x to the power 3 minus 3 to the power 3 will now be x minus 3, x minus 3, close the brackets, and then I have here in brackets a squared becomes x squared, right? Then plus ab is 3 times x, which is 3x, then plus b squared becomes 3 squared close this bracket then I'm going over there now plus x squared minus 3 squared if we apply difference of two squares it becomes a plus b into a minus b and then the whole of this is equal to zero I believe this is understandable and now what am I supposed to do from here I have x minus 3 oh I'm using a plus b instead of using the letter that we have here right so let me take a step x minus 3 into x squared plus 3x plus this is supposed to be 9 right okay then plus instead of a plus b now i'm supposed to be writing x minus 3 okay and in the other bracket okay the first one is positive and then in the other i have um, x minus 3 right equals zero and now from here i have the same thing here i can factor it out so x minus three is a factor and then in this bracket i'm going to have x squared plus three x plus nine and this is also left over there so i'm going to have plus x plus three 
and this is equal to 0. Now, I have x minus 3 in this bracket. Then in the other bracket, we are going to have um, x squared plus 3x plus x will give us 4x. Then 9 plus 3 will give us 12. And this is equal to 0. Okay. Now we apply zero product rule. And that says it is either x minus 3 is equal to 0. Or x squared plus 4x plus 12 is equal to 0. From here, our x is equal to 3, and that is understandable, okay? But then, from here, we are also, you know, we can also have different solutions. In fact, two of them from here. Now, let me go there. We have x squared plus 4x plus 12 equal to 0. Now, this cannot be factorized. So we can solve this by using the formula method. And for the formula, our a is 1. That is the coefficient of x squared. Our b is 4. That is the coefficient of x. And our c is 12, which is the constant. Now, what is the formula? x is equal to minus b, positive or negative. We have b squared minus 4ac and the whole of this is 2 is over 2 times a now let's put everything into the equation into the formula so that we have minus 4 plus or minus we have 4 squared minus 4 times a a is 1 times um, c which is um, 12 the whole of this is divided by 2 times 1. And then let's take a step forward and a step further. x will be equal to minus 4, positive or negative. We have 4 squared is 16. Minus 4 times 1 times 12 will give us 48, right? So we have 48. And the whole of this is over 2. Let's continue. Okay, so x will be equal to minus 4, positive or negative. 16 minus 48 will give us minus 32. And this is over 2. Now, let's take a step forward. Our x will be equal to minus 4, positive or negative. Now, we have square root of 32 multiplied by square root of negative 1. This is over 2. So that if we continue, our x will be equal to minus 4, positive or negative. Now, this 32 here is the same thing as 16 multiplied by 2. And then multiply by the square root of negative 1 is i. Okay, so this is over 2. Now, let's continue. x will be equal to minus 4, positive or negative. Square root of 16 is 4, multiply by root 2, then multiply by i. This will be over 2. Now, the next thing to do is to factor out 4 from the numerator. x will be equal to minus 4. Okay, I'm okay, I want to factor out 4, right? So that means I'm going to have positive 4 into bracket. Here we'll have minus 1. Then plus or minus. Here 4 has come out. So here we'll have neg um, square root of 2i. Close the bracket. And this is over 2. But remember that this i is not under the square root. Okay. So from here now, we can cancel 2 from here, and it goes there 2 times. So this means that our x is equal to 2 into bracket minus 1 plus or minus square root of 2i. Close this bracket. And now this is a 2 in 1 solution because we can 
split this into two. By the way, these are the three solutions to the problem. X is equal to three, and that is our X1. Then our X2 is going to be from here, which is two into bracket minus one plus square root of two I. Okay, I use positive first, and then our X3 is two into minus one minus square root of two i so these are the three solutions to the given equation thank you for watching